Oh, thank you. Welcome. Oh, um, Crystal, before I forget, um, we are having a holiday open house at our place, so you, Tat, and the kids, you can come, right? Absolutely, Great. yeah. Oh, I have to show you the invitation. Yeah. You have to see this. How handsome are my boys? <laughs> I'm going to drop Oh, my gosh. Get <laughs> my hands full. Don't spill. <laughs> thank you. You have a beautiful family. Thank you. I think he looks just like his father, don't you? Yeah, I can I can definitely see the resemblance. Do you have kids? No, I don't. Oh, I didn't mean to get personal. It's okay. It's just every time I look at them, I realize how lucky I am. Which sometimes makes me babble on to total strangers. You are lucky. Well, hey, some free advice from somebody that you don't know at all. Don't wait too long because this beats everything. So, uh, could I get you some more coffee or something else? Uh, I'm good, thank you. Okay, great, David, Merry Christmas. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sitting here thinking, because of me and Amanda that this happily ever after thing is happening. You realize that, right? Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah sure. because remember when we were renewing our vows and then we tried to get you two together? Remember mm -hmm. that? Yeah, you I should have listened back you, then. That's absolutely right. Should have, could have. And had you have, you'd been happier ever after since back then. So really, it's because of me that this is all happening. And I'm, can you feed me? Hungry. Can I trust you to be alone with him? No. But go get some sandwiches anyway. Yeah. Okay. Hungry. All right, be careful. Full portions. Let me guess, pictures of shoes. Ah, you and Kendall, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, we just had a crazy day at Fusion. And she threatened to buy me out, I threatened to quit, and then we ended up hugging and drinking pink champagne. Mm. Now the two of you now. We're not. She doesn't want to see me. Well, why don't you go over and see her then? I don't know. Uh, why not? What? Why not? I don't know. I think you should go over there. Right now. Here's what? your coat. Here's your stuff. Go on. Skate on over there and talk to her. Yes. Now. Go. The stuff will take care of itself. Do you think I'm in this for the money? And you don't know the first thing about me. The advance that Zach gave me is in a trust fund. All of it, drawing interest. Well, I'm sorry, Ben. I know it's not easy for you to talk about him. Well, then maybe you shouldn't have come over at all. I came over because Zach has a dream, a mission to help women and children who've been abandoned, abused, who don't even have the proper health care to keep themselves alive. He wanted to make a difference. Yes, I know that. And so do I. I'll discuss it with Bianca. I'm sure we can agree to honor whatever Zach set up with you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, please wait. I want to hear more about Zach. Anything, not just about the Miranda Center, but anything at all. You sure you want to hear this from me? Yes, I'm sure. Zach was very excited about the new life he was setting up here in Pine Valley. He was excited about selling the casinos and putting all his work into the Miranda Centers. He talked a lot about you, about his family. He struck me as a man who had made a big decision in his life. And having made that decision, he was ready to throw himself into it with everything he had. Did he sound happy? Very. Thank you. You call me and you and your sister decided what to do. Call me, OK? 
okay if you need anything. Thank you. You take care. I mean it. Hey, uh, Gunner, is my takeout order ready? I'll check on it. Thanks. Hey. Oh, hi. How, how, are, you, how are you feeling? Fine. Good. I still, I still cannot believe how, how it happened. How, how, how it happened? Are you getting shot? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that. What did you think that I was talking about? I, I don't know. Um, nothing. How are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. You and Greenlee? Greenlee called in a few more things. I guess you got a group helping her move in. So, uh, you guys are going to be living together. Yeah, yeah, we decided that, um, you know, it's probably... Well, easier, probably, you know, one place, right? Hey, are you, are you sure that you're okay? I mean, no yeah. problems or anything after, after you... you Brian, I'm fine, I'm fine, you should go, your food is getting cold. But your shoulder, is it healing okay? Is... Look, you probably shouldn't even be driving, okay? I, I, I don't, I, let me, let me just drop you off. No, no, Brian, God, why do you have to be so wonderful? You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You know what happened was, I really saw this picture of herself with Kendall, and she got kind of weepy-eyed and went over there and talked to her. Oh. Yep. Well, I hope Kendall realizes how much Greenlee really cares. Yeah, look at this one. Here's a picture of them. This must be right before the wedding. That never happened. And before Greenlee went off the road and everybody's life changed. Well, we are all where we're supposed to be now. You know, she got away from David and Greenlee found her way back to true love. Hmm. I guess that means if the love is strong enough, it can survive anything. Even other marriages. You're really here. <laughs> Oh, surprise, surprise. Mm, not really. What's that supposed to mean? Ay, yeah, yeah, you look great. So do you. Mm, siéntate. Okay. Mm. Mm, thank you. Yes. You just couldn't help yourself. Hey, I had to see you. No, you couldn't stay away from him. Even though you told me, you promised me you'd stay away from him. I haven't seen Jake. But you're okay. here where he lives with his family. Don't tell me, tell me you haven't changed your mind about it. Okay, I don't want you to be upset, all right? This is not about us. I'm worried about you. I've been telling you forever, don't. What do you expect to get out of this? Nothing. Face the facts about Jake. Some relationships just are meant to be. When they break, they break forever. Can I come in? The boys were just taking a nap, so I thought maybe I would too. Oh, come on, you never nap. Well, then maybe you don't know me that well. I think I know you better than anyone. I didn't want you to hear this from anybody else. I've moved in with Ryan, and we'd love to have you over. Of course you would. With the boys. Your world is perfect now, so everybody else should be happy, too, like nothing's happened. I am happy being with Ryan, but don't think for one minute that I'm not mourning Zach. Do not talk to me about Zach, ever. And don't expect me to come visit you, act like nothing has happened and everything's okay. Okay. Not today. But the invitation is still there. And I'm still turning it down. And just in case you're wondering, don't bother sending any future wedding invitations because I won't be there. Okay, then I'll wait. There won't be a wedding. Not until you can stand next to me as my matron of honor. Well, then you better save your money and don't buy a dress because you're not getting married. Mm. You know, this is our first real Christmas together. That's right. With no David hanging over our heads, just mm -hmm. you, me, and Trevor. That's right. How lucky are we? 
Lucky. Mm, yes. You know, I was actually just telling someone that. I met this uh, really pretty girl at Crystal's, and she saw our family picture, and of course I ended up going on and on about how great it all is. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, she seemed kind of sad about it. Sad? Why? Like she was maybe missing out on something, the way she looked at her picture? I don't know. Hmm. I'm surprised you didn't invite her over to our party. I thought about it. She was too cute. You are a sweet girl. A big sweetheart. Oh. I have to go to the hospital. You know what? I, I have to go to. I have that meeting with Griffin about the Miranda Center. Oh, that's great. No, it's good. You don't see any veins bulging out of my neck, do you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ryan and Greenlee are really going to make it this time. I hope so. Sometimes couples just need a second chance to make something right. Jake was a long time ago. And you told me it was over. And I meant it. And then I saw this impossibly beautiful woman talking about her husband, and then all these feelings kind of just came rushing back. What woman? Jake's wife? You met Amanda. And no, we didn't exactly meet. I just I kind of ran into her over there while I was having coffee. Is she a model? Did you did you, did you did you tell her who you were? Did you talk about Jake? No. No. Come on, you know me. I have my pride. Yeah, I also know you're very unpredictable. It was clear. Jake has moved on. And so have I. The program I run at Doctors Without Borders, it's important. It's Meaningful, you know, saving lives. No regrets, huh? Why think about regrets? Just know, whatever I did, it was always for you. You've always come first. I know. Thanks. I'll be tired from your trip. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, finish your coffee. Go back to the hotel. Get some rest. Okay. Will you join me? Yeah. I've got some Miranda Center business, and then I'm all yours. Madison, I didn't, I didn't mean to upset you. That's, that's the absolute last thing that I want to do. Yeah, but you do always try to make sure that everyone is taken care of. You say that like it's a bad thing. Because sometimes you have to choose. And you did. You chose Greenlee. I care about you, Madison. I did, and I still do. No. And I... Stop. What? I don't want to hear you say that in a sentence. That you just want to be friends. Because I already told you, I can't do that. There's no way I could be just a friend after everything that we've shared. Okay. I understand. Ryan, please, just go. If what you're trying to do is hurt me, it's working. You don't know what hurt really is. Fine, you win. You've been hurt more than I have. This isn't a contest. This is my life. This, this is self-preservation here. And me being in your life? It's a killer, Greenlee. Do you really mean that? How many different ways do I have to tell you, yes, I really mean that, and I want you to stop trying? But we've always been there for each other. No matter what. And I can't imagine my life without you in it. Well, maybe it's time to start. I, I can't think beyond today, okay? I can't focus on anything. So please, just be happy in your life, but stay out of mine. Just go. And don't come back.